Hello, um, I'm John Seddon. Um, um, I teach people salsa. I remember going to a dance, um, a little dance show actually in Morecambe. Um, and when I saw everybody dancing there, I found it really interesting. It was a whole new, new vibrant thing I'd never seen before. Um, it, was, it was really powerful. So, and, and I started going to this class in Bournemouth, not knowing whether I'd know how to, to even dance, you know, but then I was starting to pick up the steps really quickly. After a few weeks, I was, I mean, I really got the buzz uh, the bug. Um, I was I was getting addicted to it, addicted to it right from the start. Really, from going out one night a week trying this to learn, pick up these this uh, this this dance. I was going out up to four times, sometimes five times a week, because uh, I was so addicted to it. You see things from all different teachers' angles. Of, you know, they all have their own ways of explaining it or teaching it. Um, and you start to discover well there's more than one style in this, this thing that's going on. I think by the end of my first year um, I had quite a, up, uh, quite a lot of um, dance moves and I had a really good memory for the lessons. I don't know what it was because I haven't got a good memory for anything really but I was able to really remember these lessons that I'd been doing um, and so long as I, I did actively practice them um, uh, I still use a lot of those moves, uh, even today. So it went on from there to start to uh, teach people as well. Um, uh, that was kind of an accident because I was going to a little class that opened up in Morecambe, and, um, and one night, it was only been running about six weeks, and one night the teacher said, uh, you can't make it next week, and you can't make it the week after. Um, he said, do you, would you fancy doing it for a couple of weeks? So I said yes, um, he showed me how to use the CD player in there. I think I was nervous for about a week, worrying about it. I can remember walking up to the door, opening up the club. Um, my legs went to jelly and, and uh, I was a complete nervous wreck. I nearly didn't go through with it. Um, but I'll tell you what, but I couldn't get over the, how, how it went on that first night. It was amazing. It's, it's quite difficult to, to teach if you're not experienced, you're to teach beginner um, correctly as well because uh, you've got to explain exactly how you, where you step, how you move, get it across to people and find a way of, um, of getting these early steps across to people. That's where it all started. Yeah. I used to go around to my friends and we used to do a lot of um, jamming and he had a bass, it was his bass so I used to pick it up and he used to, um, I used to play bass. And of course from time to time the tape recorder would go on to, to record what we were doing. And one of my other friends called Tim, he heard this tape and he, he thought he was pl playing, playing the bass and he was short of a bass player you see in, the, in his band. So, uh, and I know Tim from uh, school my school days. Um, I don't know if we, we, we bumped into each other somewhere and uh, he said, John, I've heard you playing bass. Why don't you come round? Oh, we need a bass player for, for his band. So that's how it kind of started, a little bit of an accident.
It's definitely a, a community. And where, wherever you go, you always get to know people. You'll see them dancing in Preston, you'll see them dancing at um, Penrith, the same people. You definitely establish strong friendships with people. Um, it's like a what, what, what I call a salsa family. I do enjoy to be asked, why do you do it this way? I've been shown a different way or, or how do you know if the lady is going to be doing a travelling turn or, or she will be turning on the spot, you know, anything. I love to be asked uh, and grilled <laughs> questions, it, it, it's something that, that I really enjoy. You just don't know what people are going to ask you. I enjoy it when the class is quite noisy because I'd rather it be a room like that than a, a room where you can hear a penny drop, <laughs> you know, I want it to, to be fun. The biggest relief came when I got my teaching certificate because um, you're convinced whilst you're doing the uh, teaching exams that you're going to fail, uh, you're not good enough. Um, and we did the exam uh, which was fairly involved um, and the, um, you think well I'm sure I could have done better with, with this and done better with that. Um, but you never quite know if you've passed it, but after you don't get your certificate for at least three weeks after you've taken the exam itself, you start worrying about uh, I will have failed and you know you, you, you get quite despondent. Uh, I tell you when I got that certificate it was the biggest relief, I completely cried. Um, it was, it was, it, that was a, 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 an amazing feeling, uh, that's the only way I can describe it and it was with me for a long time. I was like walking on air for, for uh, you know, a week or so or more. Um, that was a big thing. Uh, it gives me a real buzz when I know people have had a good night. Um, that's what I want. I want people to have a really good night. So we do our best. We do our best to to please everybody. The thing is, I love the music, and I, and I did enjoy playing the bass, and I did enjoy playing in the bands. I mean, the, the guys were great. The music was um, was great as well. I don't know, I, didn't, I never felt comfortable going out in the public eye. Um, and I don't know what it is with, when it comes to teaching salsa. I feel comfortable with that. Uh, I feel natural with that. Um, I'm in my element sometimes, most of the time, all the time. It's amazing. It's, it's, a, it's a great life. And you meet great people. That's the thing. You, with the music that I've done before, I met great people, uh, great friends. We're all still good friends. Um, from the rock years and the band years but now I've got great friends also from the dance I remember my mum and dad saying back then can you turn that racket down you know um, <laughs> and I'm thinking well this is great you know this is a fantastic deep purple track or something music's just been a massive in influence to me from that, uh, growing up to today it's in my heart definitely in my heart so it, it will always it will always be part of me you know, from when I was 11 to whatever I am now, you know, it's, it's always there.